Boxing King Media and Association with Boxer Thomas Carty. Thomas, it's our third attempt at this interview. See if we don't get disturbed this time. So it's your third fight. Polish opponent. The guy's never been stopped before. Are you going in there thinking I'm going to make a statement, stop this guy, or are you just want to look for the rounds? Well, you know, it's easy to say, yeah, I'll just look for the rounds. Number one for me is they're going to put on a really good masterclass performance. People are going to see how good I am because people haven't seen it yet. You know what I mean? My debut, they've seen elements of it. I had that nerves. My second fight then, I had that anxiety of, you know, the lads watching Eddie Hearn and that first big show. So I didn't get to show how slick I actually am. So Saturday night, slick performance. The KO comes, he gets hurt. He's gone out of there. You know what I mean? He's never been stopped before, but he's also never boxed me before. You know what I mean? So. Uh, looking forward to Saturday night, looking forward to everyone seeing how good I am as a boxer, you know, because they, they think of heavyweights as big brutes that just throw bombs. No, a very fundamentally sound fighter I am. You sure? I've seen clips of you and I see you're slick and you've got a, a good knockout on your record as well. You've sparred AJ in the past as well and you don't get sparring with AJ if you can't fight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, tell the fans a little bit about your sparring with AJ. Yeah, so, you know, an, an awful lot goes into heavyweight sparring, you know, because it's very important to try and emulate, you know, these top guys want to get a guy as close as they can to their opponent. So I got brought in for the Usyk fight, spent five, four or five weeks there. If you're not up to scratch, I'm sure he would have got rid of me after the first day. He's not in there wasting his time, you know what I mean? So I've done five weeks with AJ, got some good rounds in and uh, learned loads from him loads inside and outside the ring great advice from the guy great advice from the team he's a great team around them so uh, I had a great time at AJ and hopefully you know I'll be sparring him again soon if the Usyk fight happens and um, what, what do you think yeah what, what do you think went wrong in the, the Usyk fight um, it just happens the Usyk's now boom like people go on as if AJ fucked up AJ might not have done anything wrong that night maybe he just got the game plan wrong you know, Usyk's a serious fighter. AJ, two-time world champion, you know what I mean? It's the cream of the crop, it's Premier League boxing. People get game plans wrong. If they box the next day, the result might have been different. Do you know what I mean? Um, it just, it is what it is, that's boxing. I think AJ's gonna come back now. When he fights Usyk next, it's gonna be a different fight. And uh, I can't see Usyk winning the next one. I think AJ's gonna win the next one by stoppage. Well, obviously you were in the camp and no one's gonna know um, how the sparring went better than you, so. Obviously, AJ tried to box him in the actual fight, but was he trying to box you in sparring, or was he, you know, going in as people are saying he needs to be a lot more aggressive? Uh, what, what were the tactics in the actual sparring? It's nothing that I'd be able to come. Down. I can't see any difference myself. Me and AJ just got the rounds in. You know what I mean? So um, he was super sharp. I think maybe just they might have got the game plan wrong or something like that. Obviously, and uh, second time round is going to be different. You know what I mean? I think AJ by stoppage next time early. Interesting. The heavyweight division obviously is packed with fighters now. There's people coming from all around the world. How quickly are you looking to progress? I'm looking to progress as fast as Dillian wants to push me. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm ready to step up after this fight, it gets already out of the way. If I'm ready to step up, I step up. If I need another couple of fights, I take another couple of fights. You know what I mean? I'm in no rush. I'm 26. I live the life. I'm not just stereotypical Irish uh, drinking every Friday or, or every day. I live the life of an athlete. You know what I mean? So. Uh, I'll fight again in a couple of weeks if I can, you know, but I just want to do what's right for me and what's right for my career. And you need to be active as a fighter. And none of this, you know, twice a year boxing now, I'm going to be ready all the time to fight at a couple of weeks notice, you know. And that's the mentality to have if you want to get far. Uh, and a quick word on your manager, Dillian. Obviously, he's got a big fight coming up with Tyson Fury. Have you had any word from Dillian? Because he's not done any media at all, but have you managed to speak to him? What's he saying? Yeah, me and Dillian chat all the time. Just, uh, taking the piss really yeah we, we, me and Dillian have a good relationship uh, we'd never be too serious with, our, with ourselves you know I'm managed by Dillian on the team but the relationship with Dillian is great you know what I mean we'd never um, get into too much serious talk because we don't need to you know what I mean he'd be a good friend we'd be classed as good friends I class him as a good friend yeah um, I'm just trying to think a couple of the guys who are probably at the level that you might get to quite quickly because you know, of, of your background. So, uh, a Nathan Gorman fight, is that something you know, sort of level you're looking to get to? No, definitely not a Nathan Gorman fight. Nathan Gorman is leagues above where I'm at at the moment. I was sparring him there a couple of weeks ago. Really good guy. And I'm actually a big fan of Nathan Gorman. You know, Nathan Gorman's been professional years now. And I remember watching him and saying, Jay, someday I'd love to get to his level. He's way above me at the moment, you know what I mean? And I know my place, I'm not going to be arrogant calling these guys, I know where I'm at at the moment. I'm 2-0, creeping up on 3-0, and 
Nathan Gorman's had, you know what I mean, I think 18, 19 fights, sparring last week, serious fire, you know what I mean? And I think Nathan's going to do big things in the next year or two. I was trying to fish you to pull some names out. <laughs> yeah, of course. Everybody's always trying to get some of the call. But listen, right now, I'm not going to be that guy that's going to be calling people out. I want the Irish title. That's where I'm moving at. I'll let the, all, all the English lads do that thing. I want the Irish title. So anybody that's eligible for the Irish title or the Celtic title, because I think that means I can box against Scottish people. And I seen a Scottish show there last week with two heavyweights that I wouldn't mind fighting. So maybe something along the lines of that. But let the English lads fight among themselves for the moment, you know. And when the time comes, we'll make a fight for a few, Bob. 100% man. I wish you all the best. I look forward to your uh, pro journey. Cheers. Thanks very much, Pat.